How's it going? Uh, so exams are done. Our plans for the channel. Essentially, I'm going to go full time, like I normally do when college is over for the term. So there's something that's going to bug me. I am going to be away the day WWDC happens. And normally, that's not an issue. I normally, you know, carry on. I'll bring the MacBook, bring the Canon AED, or a 700D and bring a couple lenses, depending on what I need to do, or even just do it all off the iPhone. You know, I've done it before, it's fine. And for a lot of other events, I can sort of predict what's gonna happen, so I can make recaps in advance, and I can do all that. But here's the thing, I don't have that luxury this time. So, for the first time since I started doing this whole YouTube thing, I'm going to be missing WWDC. So, kind of sucky for the channel because I'm going to be away for three weeks. I'm going to try to get videos up in the meantime. I'm going to try to get videos, you know, prepared for the time I'm away for four days next week. And I'm going to try to get videos prepared for while I'm away for that, four, for that three weeks. It's just going to suck. But anyways, on, off the bad news. Good news is, exams are finished. I think I did well, which is good. But at the same time, you really don't know until the day you get your results, which is always nerve wracking, to say the least. I don't know how to feel about the exams being over. In a lot of ways, it's great. I have them done, I don't need to worry about. But in a lot of ways, you kind of do have to be nervous about your results in some way, don't you? Yeah. I'm testing out, I know I've done this before, but I'm testing out the HDR video. Wait. Yeah, I'm testing out the HDR video on this phone. And I don't know, I like, I like it, but I don't know if I can justify keep using it. The file sizes are massive. And I only have a 64 gig phone because, come on, I need a storage? No, but do I want storage? Yeah, so uh, my next phone probably pump up the storage on that because filming videos is a nightmare, <laughs> especially when I add all the music that I download to my phone. Yes, I'm that person that buys albums and loads them onto the phone, so that's why I don't want the headphone jack to go away. Not the headphone jack, what am I talking about? That's already gone. Got the AirPods because of that. Uh, the landing port, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh Jesus, it's already there somewhere and I'm already dopey as anything. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day out even. Final Cut's been weird and I don't know what it is, but ever since the new update that optimizes it for M1 Pro and M1 Max, I've had an issue where Final Cut will let me drag and drop to transition. I have to physically click on the clip I want to do the transitions on and then click to transition, double click to transition. I can't go back after the fact and add transitions, which I normally do. And editing the unboxing for the Apple cleaning clock, by the way, that's such a piss take of a video. Obviously, I don't get that. Yeah, it didn't really work out. Because, as I wanted to, of course, because normally I'd just be able to drag on and drop the transitions after the fact, or I'd be able to drag around the clips. I didn't have the luxury of that. I had to sort of plan the edit in advance, which I normally don't have to do with Final Cut. I know it's a linear editor, so I kind of do. Uh, unlike Premiere Pro, where it's non-linear, but I can get around that. It's weird. I don't know. Either way, I don't think I'll be uh, too impressed with Final Cut this version. I'm going to try. don't think it's possible now, but I'm going to try downgrade to the last version of Final Cut. Just without one feature. Now, I know the duplicate uh, clips features handy and all that features. They're all great. It's just that one feature, that one feature that I don't have anymore, really annoys me. So that's why I'm going to be doing that. Hope you're having an excellent day. That's been my day. I'll see you next week.